Hello and welcome. So today I want to do a simple video on how to do profile management for Vortex. Having different profiles will make it so if you want to do multiple like multiple playthroughs with different mods, then pro having different profiles will let you have a separate mod a mod list for each um, profile that you have. So whenever you first set up Vortex, which if you need to know how to set up Vortex, I, ha I can link a video up in this top corner here, and that will show you how to set up Vortex itself. But whenever you first set it up, um, you might have to click here. So if it says no, you'll have to click to allow profile management. And then whenever you do that, a extra tab called profiles will appear here. Um, whenever you first enable it, all you'll have is a default, a default profile, and with this you can click edit, you can rename it here, you can rename it here, and then you can adjust some settings, so you can have it so this profile has its own saves, so the saves won't get mixed up with other profiles, and then you can also make it so it has its own settings. And then you can give it a little description if you want to. We're going to go ahead and leave that as is. If we want to create a new profile, all we do is click Add Skyrim Profile. For that, it'll say whatever game you're adding a profile to, which this should work for any game that has Vortex support, but I'm not entirely sure. So I'm just going to call it test. We can go ahead and click these. And then once you have your new profile created, you can go ahead and click enable. And then you have that you're now managing that profile. Okay, so I went ahead and enabled some mods to show you. So it'll say here how many mods you have enabled in that profile. And then you can see it doesn't enable the mods in other profiles. So whenever you have a separate profile, you can change it as you want without affecting the other profiles. And then let's say you you have a profile that has a bunch of mods enabled and you want to create another profile similar to it, but you don't want to go through and manually enable all those mods again. You can go ahead and click this little arrow here and then hit clone. And then you can change the name and all of that, so we'll call it test2, and then you now have a duplicate of your original profile. Um, if you decide that you don't want a profile anymore, you can click the down arrow again and hit remove. And then proceed to click remove again. If you want to see the save games that you have associated with a specific profile, you can go ahead and go here and click open save games. It'll pop up a folder with all of your different saves. For me, I have nothing since I just created this profile. One other thing you can do is so if you go here and then you click add shortcut, this will create a shortcut on your desktop homepage where if you open that, it'll open Vortex with this profile automatically enabled already. And then finally, if you want to turn a profile that you have into a collection, you can go ahead and here and then click this init collection button and then you can create a collection, create a name for it and then do create. and then it'll show that you just made a collection. But I'm not gonna go super in depth on that. Um, if you guys want another video that goes over collections, comment down below and I will make one. But other than that, I covered most of the stuff, like main stuff with profile management. So if you guys have any other um, specific questions, comment down below and make sure to have a great day.